Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be doing custom fluids, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create the flu fluid init um, class. So go into your init and create a new class called fluid init. It's going to be similar to the entities package. So we're firstly going to declare the fluid public static final fluid and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it molten copper fluid. And this is equal to a new fluid liquid. And this is going to be called molten copper. It also needs to take in two resource locations, which are going to be the locations of the still and flowing textures. So new resource location tutorial colon blocks slash molten copper still and another new resource location tutorial blocks molten copper flow. Put a semicolon on the end there. You're going to want to import fluid, hover over it and click import fluid. And then we're going to create this fluid liquid class. Create a new class and put it inside of tutorial.fluids. We're going to need the parameters. And in here we're going to take in string name, resource location still, and resource location flow. And then we're going to have to super off those three parameters. We're then going to need to set the um, set the unlocalized name to name. So that's the fluid class created, and we now need to register the fluid. So public static void, register fluids. And I'm going to call another function public static void register fluid. And this takes in the parameters of a fluid, fluid, fluid. We are then going to use the class fluid registry to register the fluid. So fluid registry dot register fluid and fluid registry dot add bucket for fluid. We can then call the register fluid function and call your specific fluid. Then go into handlers, uh, registry handler. And in pre init registries, call fluid init dot register fluids. It is it's crucial that this happens at the top of the registries or it will get, cause a game crash. As um, this needs to be able to run before the register blocks. And if it's down below all these other functions, it'll end up running after register blocks and will then crash the game as the block needs to be able to find the fluid. So as I just mentioned blocks, we need to create an actual block for the fluid as well. So public static final block, uh, call it molten copper block, and it's equal to a new block fluid. This takes in three parameters, the name, uh, we can just call it molten copper, uh, the fluid itself, fluid in it, dot molten copper fluid, and material, you either choose um, lava or water. Now I'm going to choose lava, so it flows um, di differently. Lava will flow slower and water will flow quicker. So we're going to put that class in tutorial.blocks. It extends a class called block fluid classic. So obviously you need to go and get the constructor. Take in string name as one of the parameters. And then go into block base. And we need to set the unlocalized name and the registry name. And also um, the block in it and item in it added to the list. We need to get the render type and return enum block render type dot. Uh, there is actually a liquid render type here, but that's to do with dynamic liquids, and that's a lot more complicated. The way we're doing it here makes it quite simple, so we just use enum block render type dot model. So give that a save and save uh, block in it as well. The next thing we're going to have to do is for is to actually make sure your bucket loads into the game. We need to go into the main class and above all the other functions, call static and open some curly brackets and put fluid registry dot enable universal bucket. This is a forge function that um, means that every fluid created will get its own bucket created automatically. So we have enabled that, so now our thing will have its own bucket. So that is all the code done for the fluids. 
But obviously we need to do the textures. So as this tutorial and then in block states, we're going to create a block state. So open up two curly brackets and then declare forge underscore marker colon one. This is um, something, uh, forge has certain markers and one is the liquid marker and so it tells this block state that it's going to be rendering a liquid. Then variants colon then open up another curly bracket and tab fluid as we want to get the fluid colon open another curly bracket tab model is going to be forge fluid as forge has its own model for fluids and then custom is going to be our fluid itself open another curly bracket fluid molten copper end curly bracket then close them all up and make it look neat if you want to and that is the block state so we declare that it's a fluid then it searches for the fluid, it gets the forge fluid model and um, gets the molten copper textures for that fluid. So since we got the model, we don't need to create a model. Uh, firstly in your lang, you're going to want to um, declare it down here, fluid.moltencopper equals molten copper. That's quite simple. We don't need any block models or item models. Then in textures, we're going to need two textures, Molten Copper Flow and Molten Copper Still. And then if you're using um, animated textures, you can watch my animated textures video in the iCard above or in the link in the description. You're going to need the MC Meta files as well. So as you can see here, we have Molten Copper Flow, Molten Copper Still and their respective MC Meta files, which are just frame time things. So the final thing we're going to need to do is create one more function inside of render handler. If you don't have this class, we create it in the entities, entities tutorial, but you don't have to actually have any of that. Just create a class called public class render handler inside of handlers, and you can leave it blank. Um, then create a new uh, function in here called public static void register custom meshes and states. Then we're going to need model loader dot set custom mesh definition item dot get item from block block in it dot molten copper block new item mesh definition and it wants to get the model location so return a new model resource location called tutorial colon molten copper and the variant is fluid then one more model loader dot set custom state mapper block in it dot molten copper block new state mapper base and return the same thing as before what this is doing basically the fluid has a property called level this level property um, is to do with how high the fluid is. Um, but we don't want to be able to handle that ourselves because that would require a humongously large block state file. So we set custom mesh definitions and custom state mappers um, in with the property fluid, which means the game will handle it for us as they already have a way of handling this. So it should all work now. Once you run the game, there should be no errors. Actually, yes, there will be. Always need to remember whenever you create something to register it in registry handler. You can put it down here with re in render handler. Render handler dot register custom meshes and states. Give that a save and run the game now. So open your creative tab and go down into the miscellaneous section. That's where your bucket will be stored. Scroll on to the bottom and you'll find Molten Copper Bucket. 
place it down the floor and we have our fluid. If you set it to lava, it will burn things as obviously it's molten copper, it's super hot so it should burn things. And there we go, it's your custom fluid with a custom bucket as well. So if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, my name's been Harry and goodbye.